today I'm gonna make grandma's video. This is my new sweater I'm modeling. Hello. Hi. Hi my friends. Welcome to another edition of Z's World. Cheers to you my friends. Welcome to another episode. I am Z. Zelda and RJ3. Cheers. Salute. Hot. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that left me all those nice comments. Thank you for being there for me. I was struggling. I was struggling bad. I was... That cry was a long, overdrawn, overdue cry that needed to come out. And I've been holding it, <laughs> holding it like when you pinch in a loaf and you try to get to that restroom and you're like, help me Jesus, help me Lord Jesus, don't let nothing drip drop out of my shorts. And uh, I dripped, I sharded out of my eyes. <laughs> I feel so much better. I lasted about two days of crying. That day I came home, I sat in my room and I cried and little pup pup jumped on top of my lap and he was like, <laughs> licked my face, licked my nose, would not let not one drop of tear come out of my eyes. He saw I was hurting, he just stayed on me. He kept wagging his tail. He's like, grandma, it's gonna be okay. Grandma, I could hear him talking, and I was like, I know, I know, but I've been struggling with things that have been happening, and I was really trying to be nice and calm. I'm very grateful for Pop Pop taking care of me and letting me know things are going to be okay, and they were. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It is about to rain today. I'm not going to make this long because uh, I don't want to get wet. I don't want to get rained on. So cheers. Oh, what am I drinking? I'm drinking out of my mug. I made these mugs uh, about a year and a half ago. It was a limited edition. Anybody that got on the ball, you guys are limited edition buyers. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm drinking some Earl Grey. I like Earl Grey. So things at home are better. I am coping better. My son, my oldest son, I had him subscribe to my channel as with all the friends, all his friends. <laughs> and he was like, Mama, I got a ding on my phone that you posted a new video and I was watching it and I saw you crying. He's like, you need to man up. You need to just pound your chest. He's like, quit being a little biatch quit crying and I was like okay son yes son and he's like for real mama you need to stop you need to man up ooh, ooh. so ah <laughs> uh, I am better I am better mentally rheumatoid arthritis wise a couple days after my hands exploded with tremendous designs <laughs> So I laid in bed an extra day or two, didn't crochet, took my meds, drank hot tea. Cold is about 85% gone, 90%. Looking good. We interrupt this video, had to pick two new winners for the Sugar Skull Life. Congratulations, Dr. Mish. Yay! Please email me. And second winner, Simone Maffey. I need you both to email me and we can go ahead and send the sticker out to you. So if you guys did not see, Yarn Hag Ryan. Hi, Ryan. She created a heart attack in a box. This is something I had never heard of. This is freaking genius. I'm going to put her link down below if you guys don't mind going to look at her channel. She is... I look at her videos and she is somebody that I used to be way back in the day. I used to be full of zest, full of this energy that nobody could stop me and 
it was incredible and I was go, 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 go. And I had a million ideas and I wanted to send love and hugs and kisses to everybody and everything. And this rheumatoid arthritis, you know, like I said before, it has you by the balls. It's like, no, bitch, you keeping your ass right here. So I've been doing the best I can. And I've been watching her videos and I'm trying to recharge myself, rejuvenate my soul. I gotta get that tattooed on me. <laughs> trying to rejuvenate my soul over here by watching Ryan's videos. She will show you what a heart attack in a box is all about. I'll include that video down below. I got two foes and I got one hoe. Actually, I got a bunch of old hoes, but they in the house. <laughs> I got one hoe that I got outside with me. So... First and foremost, if you guys follow me on IG, I'll put that name down below. Z Formation Creation <laughs> on IG, if you don't mind taking a look. Uh, you will see that I posted a new little sweater that I designed for a little pop-up. I introduce to you Popeyes. <laughs> He's always sleepy. But as you guys know, in the city of Los Angeles, there was a great basketball player that passed away. And anywhere and everywhere you are getting either free or very discounted tattoos, sweaters, anything related to Kobe. And my son was like, Mom, you need to make something for your grandson. So I created the Kobe sweater. It's in purple and gold. Number 24. The numbers I used Happy Berry Crochet and the rest is Twin Star Hooks. I'll put her link down below for the sweater that I used. This is Red Heart Gold and this is Purple Cotton Peaches and Cream. There's a tribute to Kobe. Number 24. Do you love it? Do you like it? He says yes. Thank you, Grandma. Okay. Okay, my friends. My next foe is something that I was asked to create for Claudia for Stitches West. If anybody is going to Stitches West, it's in a couple weeks. I'm not sure if I'm going. I'm trying to get the funds together. So all the coffee money that you guys have sent, Thank you very much. I am putting it to the side, and that's going to be my spending money. I do have some saved, and I want to thank everybody who's gone over to the link down below and put a couple bucks in there. Thank you very much. Claudia will be vending at Lady Di's booth. Lady Di Yarns, you guys hear me speak of her all the time. Her yarn, she dyes it. She's an incredible dyer. I have used plenty of her yarns. You guys always hear me say, Lady Die, Lady Die, Lady Die. Her yarn is very, very well made. She is the only dyer that I've ever worked with that not one knot is ever in her hanks of yarn. Not one knot. Whether it's fingering, lace, DK, that's all I've ever used. <laughs> Never, ever, ever have I encountered a knot or a sudden color change in any of her 15 hanks <laughs> that I've used. Let me show you what I created. Claudia asked me to create a floor sample for Stitches West using Lady Dye Yarns. She gave me eight little balls of Lady Dye Yarns. I don't know the colorways. It was just the little cakes by themselves and she said, give me a just feel festive shawl and she gave me a deadline and uh, I did it I should have had it done in two days like I told you it doesn't take very long I am a very fast crocheter if you guys have seen my videos before I can bust out anything quickly but when these fingers lock can't use them 
So it took a week. It took five days, exactly. Five days. I did not block it. She said she's going to block it for me. Yes. <laughs> I'm very scared to block this because it's a sample for stitches. And I want this to look immaculate. So she allowed me to show you guys what it looks like before I hand it over to her. <coughs> Claudia's not here. She's at home. <laughs> and let me show you. So I introduce to you the Just Feel Festive Shawl by Kalisha from Quirky Monday Craft Cast. Hi, Kalisha! This is now my second Just Feel Festive Shawl. All worked in Lady Dye Yarns. <music> It's not blocked. I think it's beautiful. I'll enclose a picture. And I'm excited because it's going to stitches. <laughs> Diane, I hope I did you proud. Claudia, I hope I did you proud. And I hope you guys enjoy the beautiful shawl sample. Created by Zelda. That's me. <laughs> it's beautiful. Beautiful. So those are my two hoes. Now let me show you one of the newest hoes. Now you guys remember. Oh, sorry, your ring. You guys remember I told you I was working on that crochet. Bless you. Crochet poncho top. I'll put that picture down somewhere here on the side. So you can see what it looks like. It's a free pattern. I will try and remember the link and link it below. I am using Miss Babs yarn that I bought a few years ago at Stitches West. It's a Yowza cake. I don't know the color because I caked it up as soon as I got it. And it's been sitting there waiting to be created. This is what I have so far. The yoke. The yoki. I'm hoping that's okay. I made it for a um, 2x size. I think that will be fine. It's beautiful purples and browns. Not sure if I'll have enough. There's 580 yards, I believe. But luckily, my Daramore's order had came in. The one I showed you previously. I'll link that video down below. And I can add a little bit of the purple or something just at the bottom. To give it a little oomph. My beautiful whip is being housed in my bag. From Leo, the male lady, sassy Cuban crochet you will find her instagram down below and also her email if you want a bag and she will let you know how much the bags are and what fabric she has or you can look at her ig and see what's for sale thank you leo so that's all i have oh what am i wearing i am wearing pamela's cowl that she made for me out of the noro yarn from the Noro yarn tasting that we went to. I'll link that video down below as well. Thank you to everybody that went on over to Pamela's channel and subscribed to her. She made it over a thousand. 
She had her first giveaway. The winner was chosen. I am so happy. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and all the ruckus that was going on around me. I know you can't see it, but it's starting to drive me a little bonkers. Folks don't pay attention. A little gangster over here wants to do his own thing and make noise. Was he digging a hole in front of me, throwing dirt in my tea? But handsome is sitting right here. Just waiting for me. He's so beautiful. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And letting everybody know that I am here. And I'm working as quickly as I can. And trying to create awesome projects for you guys. Trying to inspire you guys. And remember, if any of you guys have created anything, email me a picture. I'll put that email down below and across the screen because I'm going to show everybody's work in a future video. There's no time limit, you know. Take as long as you need. Need I think every couple months or so cuz I've got I've got about 20 30 pictures that came in already. I was like, "Woo!" So I'm trying to get to everybody as quickly as I can and then I'm going to enter you guys in a raffle and give give somebody a chance to win some ZZ swag. <laughs> I thank you guys for coming on over and spending time with me today and looking at all my makes. If you guys do go to Stitches West, make sure you stop by Lady Di Yarn's booth. This will be hanging somewhere in the booth and you can take a picture with it and be like, Z created that. Hopefully I make it and I see you there. And don't forget, if you ever see me in the street or anywhere, if I'm looking crazy or something, Tap me on the shoulder, Z. It's me, so-and-so, from YouTube. I will be more than happy to take a picture with you, hug you. Because <sighs> we all need hugs. All we need is love. Thank you guys for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful today. Bye-bye. <laughs> we also have a redraw for the Naughty Bag. And the new winner is... Debbie G's Yarny Love. Please email me and I will get that bag to you.